These are the two cameras I typically carry on a bike tour and pretty much whenever I travel. The first is a Panasonic Lumix GX85 Micro Four Thirds mirrorless camera. It came with a 12 to 32 kit lens, which is a 24 to 64 35 millimeter equivalent. I also bring this 45 to 150 zoom lens, which would be a 90 to 300 equivalent. And as well, I take my GoPro Hero 7. I mount my GoPro on this handlebar mount. It's actually made by Joby, which is the little flexible tripod manufacturer. And it's marketed as a bike light. But what works really well is it comes with two standard quarter inch tripod mounts. So I do have an option to put the light on the front. I've never used it, but it is an option. But it's really good for adding the GoPro tripod mount. And what I've done now is I have this receiver mount slider that screws onto the tripod mount so I can quickly and easily take off my GoPro. In the past, I used this series of GoPro extenders with the screws, but I found it was really difficult to remove my camera if I wanted to put on my helmet or put it on a selfie stick or put it on a tripod. Every time I'd have to unscrew it, line it back up, screw it into whatever device I was putting it on, then take that off and screw it back onto the handlebar mount. This receiver slider that I got from AliExpress, it's a V-Gym, it's aluminum, it's pretty solid, but it makes mounting the GoPro on and off a breeze. The slider mount that came with the GoPro is this one you see here. It comes equipped with this little rubber stopper, and I found it really useful because without it, with just the standard sliders like this, the camera wiggles around a lot in the receiver plate. But having the rubber, it just firms everything up, and it's a really solid alternative. So I found this whole system mounts really securely to my handlebar. It doesn't move, and with the stabilization built into the GoPro, I've got some really good, solid, stable footage, and I'm pretty happy with this setup. And now it's quick and easy to remove, put it on my helmet, put it on a tripod, put it on a selfie stick, whatever I want. Quick and easy. The Panasonic Lumix GX85 Micro Four Thirds camera. It's a really nice camera in a small, compact package. I keep it handy in my handlebar bag with this kit lens. It screws in close to the body for transport and then it screws out when I'm ready to shoot video or to take a shot. The camera comes with several picture profiles. I use the Cinelike D profile for video, which gives a nice flat image. It's good for color grading. For photos, I use a flat natural setting. The camera comes with an articulating viewing screen at the back. It tilts 90 degrees up or 45 degrees down, which is good for video shooting. It also comes with a viewfinder that you can look through directly on bright sunny days. Good for photos, also good for video. And being a mirrorless camera, you're seeing exactly what you're getting through the viewfinder and through the screen on the back. It comes with two input jacks, input output jacks, a USB and an HDMI. It would have been nice if they equipped this with a full-on articulating screen that turns forward. So when you are doing stuff where you want to see what your composition is like when I'm talking to the camera, it would be nice for that. There's also in-camera image stabilization as well as lens stabilization in all the Panasonic lenses that I use. This camera shoots some awesome 4K footage and I shoot photos in both JPEG and RAW. So three things that this camera is lacking. As I mentioned before, a fully articulating 180 degree screen would have been nice, especially for when I'm in front of the camera and I want to see the composition. It would have been a good ad, but this articulating screen works pretty well. It does the job. It's not a huge deal. What I do think it's lacking in a big way is an external mic jack. It comes with these two little internal mics that do a mediocre job. They're okay, but I think a camera that shoots quality video like this one does should have a dedicated external mic jack, and it doesn't. I think Panasonic dropped the ball on that one. It's the one major flaw, I think, on this camera. The other minor flaw is it's not weatherproof. You can't really expect a weatherproof camera at this price range, but that would have been a nice little option. All in all, I think this is an awesome camera. I don't regret buying it. It's perfect for what I use it for. Fits in my handlebar bag easily, easy to transport, doesn't take up a lot of space, and it gives some really quality video and photos. If you like this video and you want to see more, please hit the subscribe button, hit that bell icon, and give me a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.